Hi guys, Mulos here. Today's video, I'm setting up FNB Banking app for the first time. So you go on the banking app after you've installed it and uh, click on set up my banking app. It then brings you here. I have internet banking, so I'm going for the first option. I enter in my internet banking username. I click continue. It then brings me here where I have to enter in my debit card number as well as the PIN code for the debit card. You click next. Then you wait for the OTP to come by SMS. The app will automatically detect it and proceed. Accept the terms and conditions. Click confirm. Then you can either log in or you go up to the menu bar and uh, click it. I'm going to the menu option. Go to e-wallet. You have to enter in your online banking password. Then log in. Once you've logged in, it then uh, makes you confirm the linkage of your e-wallet to the banking app. Once you confirm this, you'll be able to transfer from your e-wallet to your bank account in case someone sends you e-wallet or from your bank account to your e-wallet. Then you finish. It then brings you here. It shows you your e-wallet account number, your balance and your available balance. If you go on transaction history, it's going to show you a history of your e-wallet, the latest transactions, what you've received, what you've withdrawn via the ATM. Then let me just go let me just go back. Under settings, it's just an option to delink your e-wallet facility in case you get a new number or you don't want to be linking it. So now let me go to home and and log into my banking app. So enter in my password. First time use, it's going to ask you to link your contacts list. I recommend you do this. It makes it easier sending e-wallets in case you do send e-wallets. As well as uh, saved uh, numbers. So allow that. And it's going to ask you to confirm or continue. These are the limits I have. You can increase them, reduce them, or keep them as is. So I'm continuing. It's going to show me my e-wallet, my account, and my savings pocket. Next, go to settings and go to my devices. You need to confirm. So here I've got my old phone as well as the new phone I've just installed linked to my, uh, my app. So I need to remove the old phone from my profile so that I can be receiving uh, confirmation. If I want to approve a transaction, it will come to this phone. So I'm going to delink the old phone. I selected it. I click delink. This is going to remove the old phone from my profile, continue, and it's done. So now I only have this phone on my profile. In case I want to approve any transactions, it's going to be approved from this phone. It makes it much, much easier to use. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Morals, bye.